Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he's wearing white trunks. He weighs 203, undefeated in 11 professional bouts, scoring all knockouts. The former Olympic heavyweight king, Joe Frazier. His opponent from Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's wearing black trunks. He weighs 205. Oscar Ringo Bonavena. Bonavena. Ten rounds. Another bout to follow. Listen carefully, boys. Will you translate these instructions for Oscar? Scored three times in one round. The three knockdown rule goes into effect, and the fight is over. The bell for round one, Frazier in the white trunks, Bonavina in black. Also, if a man is floored at or near the bell, the count will continue until he has risen or has been counted out, even though the bell may sound. Now, both men are powerful left hookers. Frazier probably has more boxing equipment. He's a good combination fighter with a good jab, a powerful left hook. But Bonavena is probably the stronger of the two and has fought the more experienced opponents. Bonavena a little bit the taller of the two, about a half inch over six feet. Frazier about a half inch under six feet. Bonavena doing a little more moving than we usually see and throwing a good right hand that grazed the chin. Bout is scheduled for 10 rounds. Few expected to go that far. Frazier scored high with a left hook and then also with a left hook that was low. But Bonavena was between him and the referee and Mark Khan didn't see it apparently. One minute to go in round one. Frazier in the white trunks has fought the action most of the way. Bonavena has countered well. Round is almost over. Round two at Madison Square Garden. Joe Frazier, the white trunks, Oscar Bonavena in black, Mark Kahn, the referee. Aggressiveness uh, plays a part in New York scoring, and Frazier would seem to have an edge in the first round because he was forcing the action. As we told you earlier, both are powerful left hookers, especially to the body, but Bonavena seems to be using his right hand a little more tonight. At the end of the fight, we'll have an interview with the winner, 
And should there be a knockout, we'll have a replay of the knockout for you. Frazier was the only American to win a gold medal in the 1964 Olympic boxing challenge. He's taking the mandatory eight count. Frazier was down from a short right. We've got more than half the round to go. Frazier down again. He's got to take the mandatory eight count. Five, six, seven, eight. One more knockdown and Frazier will be out of it. Bonavina has a cut over the left eye. Bonavina is cut over the left eye. One minute to go in the round. Frazier comes back with a good left hook. Frazier has to stay on his feet for about 48 seconds. About 25 seconds to go in the round. Fifteen seconds to go in the round. Round almost over. <laughs> round three of Madison Square Garden. Joe Frazier was close to being stopped in round two. He was down twice. But he came back fighting near the end of the round and seemed all right in his corner. Frazier undefeated in 11 professional fights, all of them having been won by knockouts. Bonavena has won 21 out of 23. Bonavena the black trunk and Frazier the white trunk. Now Frazier scoring with good jab. Two minutes left to go in round three. Now Frazier is coming back and scoring well to the head and the body. Half the round is over. Frazier has uh, found the way to roll with some of those left hooks of Bonavena's. Bonavena on the inside is as strong as one of those famous Argentine bulls.
About 10 seconds left to go in round three. There's a uh, long shot of the ring in Madison. Round four at Madison Square Garden. Oscar Bonavena, the South American heavyweight champion in the black trunks. Joe Frazier in the white trunk. Frazier from Philadelphia. Frazier has been forcing the fight, but he forced it too well in the second round. It was almost knocked out when Bonavena had him on the deck twice for mandatory eight counts. Frazier is now alternating his attack between a left hook to the head and a, a left hook to the body and a jab to the head. Bonavina just throws him and throws him hard. The body attack by Frazier may be taking a toll on Bonavina. Mark Kahn, the referee. I think you'll agree that there haven't been many dull moments in this one. One minute to go in round four. Now Frazier is coming on. Neither boy has worried too much about defense in this one. Big round for Joe Frazier, and we go over to his corner. In the corner with him again. Round five at Madison Square Garden. Oscar Bonavena, the black trunks. Joe Frazier in white. After being knocked down twice and almost out in the second round, Joe Frazier has come back to take charge of the bout. Bonavena holding on a moment. Bonavena is now telegraphing his right hand when he throws it. five of a ten rounder crowd of almost nine thousand at Madison Square Garden braving a stormy night
At the end of the bout, we'll have an interview with the winner, and should there be a knockout, we'll have a replay of the knockdown. Hard left hook by Frazier, a hard one. Less than a minute to go in round five. <laughs> Fraser's a little bit over anxious, but he's scoring heavily. Frazier's jabs are keeping Bonavina from using his own powerful left hook. Round five almost over. <laughs> Round six at Madison Square Garden. Joe Frazier, the Olympic champion in the white trunks, Benavena in black. If you joined us late, Frazier was down twice and almost out in the second round, but he's come battling back. In the second round, there was a cut above Bonavena's left eye. It's been pretty well patched up. No bother to him at the moment. Two minutes left in round six at Madison Square Garden. Frazier has been forcing the fight. Bonavena has been counter-punching and sometimes doing it very well. Frazier ran into one that time when he missed. One minute to go in round six. Bonavena has made most of the clinches. This is as far as Frazier has ever gone and about. All of his bouts have ended in knockouts and only one went as far as six rounds. This round almost over. seven of a scheduled 10 round bout. Joe Frazier, the Olympic champion, undefeated as a heavyweight in the white trunks. Oscar Bonavena, the Ar Argentine and South American heavyweight champion in the black.
Frazier has been forcing the fight. Bonavina almost won it in the second round when he had Frazier on the deck twice. Had he put him down again, it would have been all over, but he couldn't. Frazier weighing 203 and a half, and Bonavina 205. Both men legitimate heavyweights. Hard punches, particularly with the left hook. Frazier is constantly moving, most of the time keeping Bonavina from mounting his own attack. Bonavina claiming a low punch. And Mark Kahn, the referee, tells Frazier to keep them up. Frazier apologizes. One minute left in round seven of a 10-rounder at Madison Square Garden. Bonavena may have been shaken up by that right hand. Now Bonavena has gone the 10 round distance twice with Zora Foley to whom he lost and with George Chevallo whom he beat. Frazier has never gone this far before. This round almost over. There's the corner. I've gone before and about. Frazier the white trunks, Bonavina the black. It has been a punching match all the way. was probably the best right of the fight by Joe Frazier. A flush punch. Two minutes left in round eight. Most of these exchanges have been fairly even. One minute to go in round eight. And a slight cut near the left eye of Bonavina once again. 
It was cut in the second round, but they patched it up. Now it shows just a speck of blood. Bonavena looking strong in this round. And so is Frazier. Round almost over. The crowd of about 9,000 is very disappointed that there has not been a not uh, uh. Round nine, Oscar Bonavena, the South American champion. Weighing 209, or rather correction, 205 in the black trunks. Joe, Joe Frazier, Olympic champion, undefeated as a pro in 11 bouts, white trunk, 203 and a half. Frazier may have been hurt by a left hook by Bonavina. Two minutes left to go in round nine. <laughs> Ringo smiled after taking that straight right. Ringo being Bonavina. You came to this TV show late. Frazier was down twice and almost knocked out in the second round, but he survived and since then has given a good account of himself. Light cut beside the left eye of Bonavena. Frazier unmarked. Bonavena is moving in now the, for the first time in the fight. He has let Frazier set the pace for the most part. Ten seconds to go in round nine. Referee Mark Kahn has them touch gloves, the tenth and final round. Oscar Bonavena, black trunks, Joe Frazier in white. We'll have an interview with the winner after it. After the decision or after the knockout, if there is one. Frazier was down twice and almost out in the second round, but has battled back. This is the most important round here.
Bonavena still strong. Two minutes to go on the fight, two minutes. Bonavena having Fraser in trouble again. One minute left now, one minute. Five seconds left as Bonavena is putting on a terrific finish against Frazier. Fifteen seconds left. Listen to the applause. Bonavena looks at the clock. And there it is, the final bell of what we consider a very fine fight. We'll have an interview with the winner. We'll return to Madison Square Garden and the decision of this. We're waiting now in the ring at Madison Square Garden for the decision of the judges, Joe Eppie and Nick Gamboli and the referee, Mark Kahn. And, uh, Johnny Addy, a very fine ring announcer, is waiting for the cards from the commissioners, Frank Morris and Dan Dowd. It's been a fine fight here. I might remind you again that on October 21st, Emil Griffith will have a return match with Joey Archer, Griffith defending the middleweight championship, and most of these stations will carry the bout. Johnny Addy with the decision. Chug Joe Eppy has a five, four, one even for Frazier. <laughs> Referee Mark Khan, six to four for Frazier. <laughs> Nick Gamboli scores five rounds for each boy. Points, seven to five points, favor of Bonavena. The winner, the winner by a split decision, Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier coming over to our microphone with Mitt Bailey. Joe, congratulations, you. you're still undefeated. Yancey Durham and Willie Reddish also with Milt. Joe, uh, tell us about that second round. You were down twice and almost out, I thought. Well, I was down. He caught me off surprise, rightly. But I wasn't hurt, you know. He caught me right on the button. Just like I say, a little man can hit you on the button. You go down. Well, he's not a little man. He's a big man, so that's what I mean by the little man. Well, uh, but he put up a very good fight. I thought it was a good fight, a close fight. Uh, good. I, I thought, now I may be wrong, that you turned the tide with right. your left jab. Right. I use my jab more than Oscar, but then he keep backing away, you know what I mean? I just barely touch him. And I cut him in the second round, and that's why I think I won the fight then. Uh, Joe, tell us again about that second round. Now, the first round was fairly even. You right. were doing uh, well in the second round, and right. what was it? Your inexperience left you wide well, open? I, I was going with the left, but what it really was, that I kind of drop it, and then Oscar shoot it right over. What did he hit Oscar is a southpaw, so therefore he can shoot his left hand, his, his right hand just as, 
hard to get you to his left hand. I thought he decked you with a right the first time. Yeah, I was the right hand. What were you thinking about on the floor? Well, I was I was carrying her down a little too long. And what about the second knockdown? Well, I don't know what happened then. <laughs> you don't remember it? No. But you came on to win. I want to congratulate you. You're still undefeated, and you're certainly a wonderful prospect. One of these days, we hope you have you on a title fight. Thank you very much. Thank you very Everybody. much, Joe Frazier. Thank you.